Esperanza Chavez is described by her mom, John Tu Chavez, as a wild child with an unforgettable smile. She was so fierce and just so bright with personality and her smile lit up the room and she always had something funny to say. And At 24 years old, Esperanza's life was taken from her after she was found dead with a gunshot wound near a dumpster in Mill Creek early Saturday morning. Just left her there on the side of the trash can like a piece of trash and um, just left her body there in the cold all night to be there by herself in the freezing cold dead. Esperanza's ex-boyfriend, Fred Edwards, was arrested for murder, obstruction of justice, and abuse or desecration of a human body. He's being held without bail. My instant re reaction was, did he kill her? And the detective's like, he, who, who do you mean he? And um, it was my greatest fear coming true. I screamed, cried, and bawled. Chavez says Saturday was the culmination of a long history of domestic violence between her daughter and the suspect. I was at home, and my cousin called me and said, I have Esperanza on, on the other phone. She's screaming bloody murder. They're driving down the street. He's beating her, and he's choking her. Court documents show Edwards was charged with three counts of assault and one count of attempted mayhem from last year's incident Chavez described. Court records show bond was posted, a pretrial protective order was issued, and the case is still open with a scheduling conference set for February 9th. I just wish there was so much more out there for domestic violence victims so that they had more help in getting away, had more support in the process. Chavez says Esperanza was planning to start a new life in Oregon this past Sunday. We were leaving to Oregon for her to live, to finally get away from him. And if we could have just made it one more day. Maybe we'd still have her here. Now, as Chavez struggles to think of a future without her mini-me, she hopes justice will be served. He gets life in prison. It's what he should get. He took her life away. He took a piece of all of our lives away. And we'll never get that back. She'll never be able to have babies. She'll never, you know, he took her future. Chavez also shared with me she wants to begin work in domestic violence advocacy for victims and their families in honor of her daughter. In West Valley, I'm Darian DeBrule, Fox 13 News, Utah. If you or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence, free support is available 24-7. Call 1-800-897-5465. You can also find resources from the Utah Domestic Violence Coalition at udvc.org.